Today we're going to play through a combo of Uncaged, so you can see how it works in action. Each player gets a fighter, whose stats are shown on the card. You're trying to get their HP to zero. One player starts as the attacker, they get the red deck. One as a defender, they get the blue deck. To start, each player draws eight cards. They review the cards and place five face down from left to right in the order they will be played. The leftover cards will be used as energy for certain other moves. The attacker starts by turning over their first card. It's a jab. This will do one damage. Damage is always shown in the top right. You can see on your fighter that they have 20 total life. The defender tries to block a kick. Since it's a punch type, the block fails and the jab hits Catherine for one. The cross also does one base damage. But if it follows a jab, it does two extra. So three total damage heading at Catherine. A shell normally reduces damage from the attack card by two when you discard a card. But each fighter has a special ability and Catherine's is that her shell blocks all damage. So the player discards a card and receives no damage. The high kick had to follow a punch and it did. It does two damage and an extra one for every grappling card, the purple ones, in the player's hand. So three total. How will the defense respond? With a takedown. All fights start standing and the level indicator reflects this. A level change card lets you switch. So the defender will discard a card to activate this. Now we go to the ground where different moves like submissions can be used. A body hook is a bit of a gamble. The player flips over the top three cards in their deck and does one damage for each attack card, the red ones. So that's three, unless the defense can stop it. And they have a combo breaker. A combo breaker has the power to cancel the attacker's last action and end the combo immediately. This does follow a punch, but it doesn't match the level. The arrows in the top left show where a card can be played, standing, on the ground, or both. So the counter fails. The armbar lets the player discard cards to boost its damage. The defensive player can also do damage via submissions and hits the attacker back with a knee bar. That ends the combo. But back at the level change, the attacker had the option to match the discard and stop the level change occurring. Let's see how that would have looked. Now, because we are standing, the counter punch works. It cancels the body hook's damage and the combo is broken. No further cards are revealed. At the end of the combo, return all the cards, including the discards, to their respective decks, shuffle and swap. If we are on the ground, we stay there. Now the defender gets a chance to attack. Throughout the combo, we used up stamina when we discarded cards. Now, this affects how many cards we draw next combo. Draw less for each card discarded. Tyle discarded one, so she draws seven total. Catherine discarded two, so only draws six. Again, select five and place them in front of you for your combo. Continue the process of revealing attack and defense cards. After each player has attacked twice, the round is over. Now, stamina resets, and the level returns to standing. The player who attacked last attacks again at the start of the new round. Each game has three rounds, unless you manage to knock out your opponent by reducing their HP to zero early. For a more in-depth overview of the uncaged rules, view our tutorial here, or watch some example games here. To buy a copy of the game, go to uncaged-cards.com.